Welcome back to another DaVinci Resolve video editing tutorial. In this video, we will look at adding titles and text to video, or overlaying it over top of video. So I have a video clip here, I'm going to drag it to my timeline, and I'm going to add a title. So titles are under effects, you've probably noticed them there if you checked out the other videos. So I have my effects library, when it's selected it'll appear down here at the bottom, and then I just go to titles. So there's transitions which we've covered, there's uh, the effects which we've covered, and now we're going to be looking at titles. And so, just we'll start with this basic one. Well, actually, let's just do text is the most basic we can do. So if I drag and drop text, you don't want to do it over top. I'll show you if I do that. What I actually will do is cut out my video and just show a black screen with a title. Maybe that's what you want, in which case you'd probably put it at the beginning of your video. But now I have a big part of my video cut out. So to get rid of that, I can... To undo those changes, I can just hit Control Z a couple times and undo that. But uh, the thing you want to do if you want to put the text uh, over top of your video is put it on its own video track. So this way, I have the text appearing. It just says title, and it's just appearing on top of the video. So to change it, I could just double click in here. Oh, get a cursor. Oop. There we go. And now I can actually edit this title. So I can say this is my video and now that is what the text will say and it's just showing dur uh, during the duration of this clip so if I want to be a little bit um, start a little bit earlier and be longer I can have it start go to the very beginning here so just like as if it were a video clip and then it will play whatever length and wherever it's at on this track now um, we can make changes uh, over here on inspector so when I double click this, it automatically brought up the inspector, but if it didn't open for you, you can click inspector, and while this track is selected, this text video track, uh, or clip in this video track, we can look up here, and we can also make changes to the video here, so or to the text on the video. So we can change the whatever the text is here. We can do multi-line if we want to. We can change the font color by clicking here. So we can change it to a different color, but white looks pretty good. Uh, we can change the actual, we can make it bold. We can actually change the font right here, so it's Times New Roman, but we can change whatever type of font we want in here. Uh, we can change the font size. We can type in a specific size too if we want. If I want to reset things to how they were, I can just click this button over here just like we did uh, in past videos. It'll reset things back to how it was before I made any changes. Uh, the tracking is the spacing between, it's also called letting sometimes, it's the spacing between the letters. Uh, the line spacing is going to be the distance between the lines. Um, yeah, so different options here, we can change the, just the justification, we can do right justified, left justified, or centered. Positioning will change the position of the text on the screen. I'm going to reset a couple of these things, maybe I'll make the size down a little bit. Um, and then rotation, we can actually rotate the text. So all kinds of different um, ch uh, changes we can make here. We can make changes to the stroke. So this has like a black outline stroke to it, which we could change the color or the size. Uh, the background, that's if we have a, a, an actual title. But it, right now it's set to, I think it's set to transparent right now. But this will be the actual background if we wanted to have a, a title screen like this. Um, Okay, so I'm going to erase this one now. I'll just click on it and hit the delete key to get rid of that. And I'm going to come over here to effects and I'm going to add in this one that's the uh, lower third. And what this does is gives us a title here. And so we can change this uh, if we click on it. So we can say this, um, we can put like the name uh, and then the lower text is down here. And we'll go like CEO or whatever. So you can have like a sort of like a news thing comes up, says some text on there. So there's some different ones. This one here, you can bring in a couple and see what they do. This one's just centered. This one's over to the right. Uh, scroll. This one will, will do some a little bit of uh, scrolling for us. So it just comes up and scrolls up top. So there's some different options. Those are the basic titles and some of the ways you can um, edit and change them over here in the inspector panel. Uh, there's also fusion titles. I'm going to click on these and hit the delete key and get rid of them. And we'll scroll down and we look at these fusion titles. These are more animated, more flashy. So, and they take a little bit of time to render. So we'll play it through. And the first time it's a little bit choppy. 
But then once it's all loaded, then we should be able to go back and play it again and it should come up much quicker. So this one just kind of slides in there, see that? Slides in from the side. Um, we can change, there's like all kinds of different ones. We can bring in a few here and just kind of see what they're doing. And again, they'll be at the, and depending on your graphics card and your computer, they might take a, take a little time to render for the first time. And again, we can come over here and see how it looks and we can change. Whoa. So that one, I don't know what that one's doing. And so these are, what it's doing is using Fusion. If we click over here into Fusion, we can actually see some of what's happening over here with these. Um, but we're not going to cover Fusion in this, but just know that it's actually compositing and you can actually change these quite a bit. They're incredibly customizable within the Fusion editor. Um, but this will just do just some animated text and then we can change it here. We can change colors and change all kinds of options about how this text appears. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Oh, and then uh, subtitles, I, I just mentioned, you can actually add a subtitle track too. It'll, it's its own type of track. It's a subtitle track. Did that get added there? Let me erase these or delete these and we'll add in, I'll right click and go to delete track to delete that video track and add in these subtitles here. So now we have a subtitle track and um, this is actually, you can add in the subtitles for whatever the person is saying. So you know you, you type in what's going on, and then it tells that you have timestamps down here. So the subtitle will only appear during this portion of the video, and then the the person watching the video, you can actually export this as a subtitle file, and then people can choose to either enable subtitles or you can create multiple subtitle tracks for different languages. So that's also going to be under these uh, this titles option under effects. Um, so play with those. The more you play with them, the more comfortable you'll get. And you're probably noticing by now that as you start using the inspector, as you start getting familiar with the interface of Resolve, everything sort of starts to come together. And the way that you adjust and modify these, for example, if we did have a, a, this right here, this title, the way we change it, click on the video tab, we can change the zoom of it, we can change the rotation of it, just like we would have um, changing our uh, an act, the actual settings of a video clip. So just like we would change the video size and uh, rotation of our video, we can do the same thing with a text title. So everything sort of follows the same rules and you'll start noticing a lot of the controls um, behave in the same way, whether you're working with text, whether you're working with a still shot picture or a video, and even a lot of the audio um, kind of has some of the same tool interfaces. Hopefully you found this video informative. Go ahead and like, subscribe, comment, and I'll catch you in the next one.